I got tired of complicated and hard a few years ago. Not so long ago, it seemed that all of a sudden my life got complicated, hard, challenging, and there was never enough time. In fact, I felt that I had been cheated and I was really angry. Why? Well, the doctor took away my cheese and my bread. What was I going to take wine tasting? Oh no, to top it off, he took away my desserts. He took away sugar. Big meanie. Okay, maybe I could have been a little more healthy, but a good macaroni and cheese for dinner with a nice slice of apple pie topped with ice cream for dessert, well, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Or was it? Did you know that millions of people have to eat gluten, sugar, dairy-free for numerous reasons, medical conditions, food allergies, or an autoimmune disease, to name a few? All right, you guessed it. I became one of them. Who would have thought that that would have happened to me? I mean, I used to run a foodie group and I had over 450 members. We used to dine out twice a month and it was divine. Yet there was always that one person that would show up, you know, the picky one. I was like, why would you want to be a foodie and be in a foodie group if you're picky? That's what I thought then. Hmm? Then I became the picky eater. Not just picky, but not able to eat gluten, sugar, or dairy. So now I was the one having to make the adjustments. Do you know that over 50 million Americans suffer from autoimmune disease? Oh, get this. There's as many as 80 types of autoimmune disease. Wow. Autoimmune disease can affect almost every part of the body. And when you have problems with your immune system, it causes your body to mistake your healthy cells as invaders and it repeatedly attacks them. Can you imagine? People who suffer autoimmune disease find relief by eating a diet that's gluten, sugar, and dairy free because it helps lessen inflammation and it promotes a healthy immune system. The same thing is suggested for people who've been diagnosed with cancer. Right now, there are around 14 million living Americans who've been diagnosed with cancer at one point in their life. People who suffer leaky gut, digestive disorders, or are extremely overweight also benefit from eating gluten, sugar, and dairy-free. I'm Michelle DeBerge, and I am the founder of Gluten, Sugar, Dairy-Free. I was very sick and having issues with my organs over three years ago, and I had to change my diet to eliminate gluten, sugar, and dairy. In the process, I've lost almost 200 pounds, still some more to go. My organs are thriving, my digestive issues are gone, and my fatigue is lifted. In fact, it made such a huge difference in my life that I began to rewrite all of my recipes into gluten, sugar, and dairy-free ones. See, I'm a huge foodie, and I did not want to stop my enjoyment of food just because I had to eliminate some major items. So as I started the journey, I decided that there was all kinds of information I wanted to learn, and I went all over the web, and I talked to experts, but in the end, it was really confusing. Nobody laid it out simple for me to understand. So I would struggle when I would accidentally have gluten, sugar, or dairy, and I would have no idea where the hidden toxins were or how to understand them. I just knew I didn't feel good. You'd be surprised at what I've discovered. Really would. For example, did you know that there's actually milk products in mint? Those little mints you have? Or there's gluten in some dried herbs? With all of the hidden toxins, it's no wonder many of you may be surprised when all of a sudden you don't feel well or you're having symptoms or that really nice dinner you went out to eat and you were so excited about actually made you sick. Now I know because it happened to me many times until I learned. The other challenge I faced was time. It never seemed that I had enough time to do the things I needed to do, much less the things I wanted to do. And so now I have to eliminate over 70% of the foods in my house and I still have to be able to quickly feed myself. Oh, and I wanted the food to be tasty too. Was that asking too much? I was overwhelmed. I've seen the pictures on Facebook that have someone ordering gluten-free food and they're sitting at the little table and then someone brings them a glass of water. Hmm. I have felt like that before, especially in the beginning because I didn't know. I sat next to a lady and her husband in a restaurant a few weeks ago. She took one look at the menu and threw it down, looked at her husband. She said, I can't eat here. They don't have a gluten-free menu. This is not going to work. And his face looked so pained. And he put down his menu and he shook his head down and he goes, would you like to go somewhere else? You could tell she was upset and frustrated. She said, you just don't understand what I'm going through because I have celiac disease. It's not that simple. And I could tell that this was a scene that they played out together often. And I didn't want to sit next to a frustrated couple. I just finished my delicious lunch. So I tried to stay quiet. 
I mean, I really did. But if you really knew me, you know staying quiet is not my strong suit. I just can't help myself. So I leaned over and I said, hey, I'm gluten, sugar, dairy free, and I just had a feast. Um, I'd love to help make a few suggestions on how you can order in this restaurant. There's some great options. She asked me, well, are you celiacs? And I said, no, but I understand. She said, well, gluten makes me really sick and it would make me very, very sick, you know. And she was very adamant. And I said, you know, I understand. I'm gluten, dairy, sugar free. Let me help. And, I, and let me show you some good food choices. So we did. We picked out some good food choices. We worked with the waiter to make sure everyone understood what was needed. And I left her and her husband happily eating the lunch and it made me feel good. As I left, the chef stopped me and he said, I just really want to thank you. He said, we struggle with people and their food allergies because they don't always make it clear what exactly they're allergic to or what their needs are. And we really want to accommodate the customer. And what you did there was just magical. Well, what if I told you this is only one of my amazing GSDF powers I have? GSDF is short for gluten, sugar, dairy free. And it would be true. I have some awesome GSDF superpowers now. As I continued my journey over the past years, I rewrote all my recipes and they're used by hundreds of thousands of people around the world. How cool is that? I get emails from all over thanking me for tasty recipes, easy recipes that are safe and systems that make things easy. I got tired of complicated and hard a few years ago with not enough time. I definitely don't have time for hard or for complicated. And I needed to make sure I took care of my body and that took time. So I made systems that work quickly. I teach tons of classes. I teach people how to stay safe, how to dine out, food prep, conversions, and so much more. Then I got a bright idea to do something even better because I'm always challenging myself. So I decided to make a big splash and make it easy. Yep, easy, no more hard. And I'm gonna tell you all about it next time. It'll be tomorrow. Right now my timer's going off and I've gotta go to the kitchen and it smells divine and I don't want it to burn. Go ahead and download our gift to you today. It is a book about 10 places that gluten hides and you would be surprised. And then I'll be back tomorrow. And I'm gonna finish the story because I've got some great tips for you.